because uh, we could organize uh, programs in uh, for legal translation, uh, for computer and translation, or screen translation, whatever. But of course, there are specialization in that fact. But let's see how far we can go. Another question, which was well, an investment surprising. The focus is still today very strongly on literature. And uh, we, I mean, if you look at the survey, if you look, if you read all the papers, you will see that. Literature is used as an example, is used as an argument to develop PhD programs. It's used in the structure of the program. Uh, it, it's used uh, for requirement for admission. It's used in many ways. When we ask people to be more precise and give example, one of the first examples always refer to literature. So we are far from, I mean, what you have here is quite uh, special, specific. And that's good. I will support that. <coughs> All right. Um, and then when we talk about cooperation, I realize that uh, people do not make difference enough or not enough difference between joint program, joint research, and joint degree. So sometimes the discussion was a little bit confused because people were talking about research when other people were talking about degree. And the third group was talking about program. So I think we need to be a little bit more um, clear about the terminology we use and so on. Next steps, and then I will stop. Is it okay with my 20 minutes? Next steps, the survey, all the data we have been collecting will be on the website after Christmas. Uh, we will ask the people to revise and check the data they have been given. And then we will put that on the, by the end of January on the on the on the website. The questionnaire what, what, will be what website? Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. No. Oh, what website? <laughs> A new one. A oh, website. A website. Okay. Can we link to it from this program? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. No. No. For the time being, I cannot say more than that. It's a question of uh, diplomacy now. Come. Uh, <coughs> the questionnaire will be updated and will be always available. So if some university want to answer or uh, answer the questionnaire later on, they can always do it. So we will try to have a continuing investigation. Uh, there are different things we will do, but I don't uh, to, to go into details here. About uh, how to organize a pool of different uh, of our resources. That was not discussed, and people were reluctant. They were looking for some solution, but they never come up with any solution about how to pool the specific PhD courses, how to pool different universities willing to, to share or to send PhD students abroad and to welcome PhD students, how to pool the senior researchers, which will be acting as a, uh, referees or a supervisor or assessors and uh, how to pull uh, resources. I think there are a lot of solutions, but uh, because, as I said, it was so new for most of the uh, participants in, uh, in Vienna that they did not, they say yes, 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 but they never come with any concrete solution. Uh, maybe one information, one piece of information, which is part of, so of the, the kind of efforts we are doing, uh, but it's a little bit apart from these uh, PhD programs, we will try to set up a handbook online in translation studies. So now you have a bibliography. I make some propaganda. Is it all right? OK, we don't record the things. <laughs> but uh, because we realize that uh, most of the students, many students, even at the PhD level, don't read books as much as they should. But uh, they go on the web, they surf the web, and they look if it's there or not. And so for uh, undergraduate students, it's very useful to have an encyclopedia or something online. And we are trying to do it. And I suppose I will ask most of the people in the room to work for that. Thank you very much.